I'm Samantha. Uh, I'm a partnerships manager. I always believed in doing good for the community and so I volunteered my time extensively to try and make an impact on the residents in my community. And then something happened that I wasn't really prepared for. I was having a very hard time with my first job. Well, even though what I was doing was related to what I studied in university, I just felt like I didn't have any aptitude in the tasks assigned to me. Lah. And I felt very overwhelmed and I just felt very alone in everything that I was facing. I remember that one day, I woke up and thought to myself, it would be better to die than to go to work. And that thought, it really scared me a lot. I had heard of MP Gan Xiaohuang. She has a lot of leadership roles. She was the chief of staff in the Air Force. She was the first woman general of the armed forces. And now she is also the Minister of State in the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Manpower. So, Ms. Khan, there's a lot of expectations placed on women now. Do you think women in Singapore are stressed? Women in Singapore can be stressed you know, because uh, of expectations. I would say we are blessed as well because uh, we have access to higher education and with that, there are many opportunities too. So I think it's natural that uh, many women in Singapore have uh, very high expectations of themselves. Being able to do more in their career and also in personal lives. For yourself, you're a mother of three, you have your career. How do you juggle all these roles? It's not easy being a working mother. Um, but for me, what keeps me going really is um, passion for what I do and uh, enjoying what I do. Yeah, of course, I'm also very um, blessed to have a very good partner, my husband. He understands me, so I'm very glad that I you know, have chosen a good partner. Just like women in Singapore, I think men in Singapore are also trying to do more and do better. I think men as well you know, would like women to do well. And that's where I think uh, support from friends and families uh, will be very important. Throughout our chat, I could really see MP's determination. And she's really such an inspiration for me to just keep going and to push through with my dreams no matter what challenges I face. What more can be done to help women achieve more? Women in Singapore have come a long way. I look at my mom and my grandmother and I look at myself. I think I've been able to do a lot more. And uh, this is mainly because um, you know, of opportunities being available and women um, taking bolder steps to um, make changes and seize opportunities in their lives. Having said that, I would say more could be done for women to achieve more. Um, I think there needs to be further changes in societal mindsets about women, women's roles at home, in the workplace. There needs to be also shifts in expectations of women about themselves. Um, and I, perhaps that is the most important part. You know, women believing in themselves and wanting to um, do more. I'm really glad to say that I found a new job that is much more fulfilling and it gives me room to grow and develop at my own pace. And I've also taken courses to upgrade my skills. Everyone goes through tough times, but in Singapore, a woman can succeed with a robust and supportive system that lets her know that everything is possible.